Imagine being on a flight. The seatbelt sign dimly glowing overhead as you peer out at the clouds, feeling a mix of excitement and peace about the journey ahead. Suddenly, without warning, the plane tilts sharply, descending at a speed that grips your heart with fear. Panic fills the cabin, confusion swirls, and within moments, the unimaginable becomes reality. This horror wasn't just a bad dream, it was the tragic fate of 346 people aboard the Boeing 737 MAX flights. What went wrong? How did a symbol of modern aviation's promise turn into a nightmare for so many families across the globe? Stay with us as we unravel the dark truth behind one of the most devastating crises in the history of aviation. In the world of flying, two big names stand out, Boeing and Airbus. Their battle to be the best has changed how airplanes are made. But this fight for the top spot, focusing on design and making more money, has had a huge cost. Why did these tragedies happen to Boeing, a company known for making safe planes? How did trying to beat Airbus lead to decisions that had such tragic outcomes? In this video, we're going to look into the whole story. We'll see how the race to be the best not only changed planes but also led to heartbreaking losses. We'll explore the decisions made and what they meant for people who trusted these planes with their lives. Boeing's legacy of innovation. Boeing, an aerospace titan, has been at the forefront of aviation innovation for over a century. Established in 1916, it has continually pushed the boundaries of air travel, contributing significantly to both commercial aviation and aerospace exploration. As one of the two dominant players in the commercial aircraft market, alongside Airbus, Boeing has been pivotal in shaping modern air travel with its commitment to safety, efficiency, and performance. From pioneering jetliners like the 707 and the revolutionary 747, to the state-of-the-art 787 Dreamliner, Boeing's fleet reflects a legacy of excellence and a future driven by innovation. In a relentless pursuit of aviation excellence, Boeing unveiled the 737 MAX, a marvel of engineering built on decades of innovation. It promised unparalleled efficiency. The Boeing 737 MAX was designed to be the most fuel-efficient and technologically advanced single-aisle aircraft in the world. Introduced in 2017, Boeing had built over 500 units by the end of its first year. Key to its appeal were the Leap 1B engines, larger and more efficient than those on its predecessors, enabling the aircraft to consume 14%, 20% less fuel. This efficiency made the 737 MAX a valuable asset for airlines seeking to reduce operational costs and environmental impact. Moreover, the 737 MAX introduced the Boeing Sky Interior, which offered passengers larger overhead bins, modern LED lighting that adjusts to simulate different times of day, and more comfortable seating, enhancing the overall travel experience. The aircraft also boasted significant aerodynamic improvements, including advanced winglet designs that contributed to its fuel efficiency and reduced carbon emissions. As of its launch, the 737 MAX had garnered thousands of orders from airlines around the globe, testament to its anticipated impact on the future of air travel. Tragedy and Reflection In the wake of unprecedented innovation and success, the aviation world faced profound sorrow with the tragic accidents of Lion Air Flight 610 in October 2018 and Ethiopian Airlines Flight 302 in March 2019. These devastating events not only shook the foundations of the aviation community, but also led to an outpouring of global grief. Lion Air Flight 610, departing from Jakarta, Indonesia, met a heartbreaking end just minutes after takeoff, claiming the lives of all 189 people on board. A mere five months later, Ethiopian Airlines Flight 302, on its journey from Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, to Nairobi, Kenya, tragically followed a similar fate, taking the lives of all 157 individuals aboard. The world watched in disbelief as two of the most advanced aircraft fell from the sky under chillingly similar circumstances. These events triggered an avalanche of investigations, leading to the grounding of the Boeing 737 MAX fleet globally. The focus shifted to the Maneuvering Characteristics Augmentation System, MCAS, 
a flight control software designed to enhance the aircraft's performance. The Maneuvering Characteristics Augmentation System MSAS, is a flight control software integrated into Boeing's 737 MAX to enhance stability by adjusting the horizontal stabilizer if the angle of attack AOA, the angle between the oncoming air and a reference line on the airplane, gets too high, indicating potential aerodynamic stall. Introduced to counteract the MAX's larger engines, which changed the aircraft's aerodynamics, the MKS's function was pivotal for safety. However, its initial design, relying on data from a single AOA sensor, contributed to the tragic accidents of Lion Air Flight 610 and Ethiopian Airlines Flight 302, underscoring the critical importance of redundancy and thorough safety assessments in aviation systems. The accidents of Lion Air Flight 610 and Ethiopian Airlines Flight 302 will forever be etched in the memory of the aviation industry, serving as a somber reminder of the responsibilities that come with innovation. They underscore the importance of continuous learning, rigorous testing, and the unyielding commitment to safety above all else. Make sure to hit like and subscribe to Company Company. Unveiling the flaws in MCAS. The MCAS was developed to address the 737 MAX's larger, more efficient Leap 1B engines, which were mounted further forward on the wing than in previous models. This change could potentially lead to an upward pitching moment under certain conditions. Thus, MCAS was intended to automatically adjust the horizontal stabilizer to push the nose down if the angle of attack AOA, sensors detected a dangerously high angle, preventing a potential stall. However, Investigations into the accidents revealed critical flaws in the MCS's design and implementation. Firstly, the system was triggered by data from a single AOA sensor, creating a single point of failure. This design choice meant that a malfunctioning or damaged sensor could, and did, provide erroneous data, causing the MCAS to activate when it was not needed. Secondly, the intensity of the MCAS's corrective actions was underestimated. The system could command significant stabilizer movements based on faulty data, pushing the aircraft's nose down more aggressively than pilots could counteract using manual controls. Additionally, the system's repeated activations, based on continuous erroneous AOA data, overwhelmed pilots, leading to confusion and, tragically, loss of control. Lastly, the level of information and training provided to pilots about the MCAS was insufficient. Many pilots were unaware of the system's existence or how it might affect the aircraft's behavior, leaving them unprepared to respond effectively to unintended MCAS activations. The revelations about the MCAS's flaws prompted a global grounding of the 737 MAX fleet and sparked a comprehensive review of the aircraft's certification processes. Navigating the Aftermath The fallout from the 737 MAX crisis for Boeing was profound and multifaceted, spanning legal, financial, and reputational challenges. Financially, the toll was unprecedented in the aviation industry's history. Boeing reported a staggering financial hit exceeding $20 billion, encompassing compensation to airlines and suppliers, production halts, and additional costs related to the extensive certification and rework of the grounded planes. This figure includes a $5 billion compensation fund, established for the airlines affected by the grounding and delivery delays, reflecting the magnitude of disruption across the global aviation sector. Legal repercussions were equally severe. Boeing faced over 100 lawsuits from families of the victims, airlines, and shareholders, leading to a $2.5 billion settlement with the U.S. Department of Justice for defrauding the United States by misleading regulators about the safety of the 737 MAX. This settlement included a $243.6 million fine, $1.77 billion in compensation to Boeing's airline customers, and a $500 million fund to compensate the heirs, relatives, and legal beneficiaries of the passengers who died in the accidents. The ripple effect on suppliers and airlines further highlighted the crisis's breadth. Suppliers, who had ramped up production to meet Boeing's projected demand for the 737 MAX, faced abrupt order cancellations and a sudden halt in production, leading to financial strain and workforce reductions. Small and mid-sized suppliers, in particular, found themselves in precarious financial positions, with some facing the risk of bankruptcy. As the aviation industry continues to grapple with the fallout from the 737 MAX saga, Boeing's journey towards recovery is closely watched. The Path to Redemption In the face of adversity, 
Boeing embarked on a journey of transformation and redemption with the 737 MAX, channeling its century-old legacy of pioneering the skies into overcoming one of the greatest challenges in aviation history. The mission was clear. Revitalize the 737 MAX not just to fly again, but to soar higher and safer than ever before. At the heart of this quest was the Maneuvering Characteristics Augmentation System, MCAS. Boeing's finest minds converged, not just to refine, but to reimagine the system. The updated MCAS was improved through innovation, now using information from two angle of attack, AOA, sensors. But Boeing's odyssey went beyond technical recalibrations. It was a holistic crusade to redefine pilot engagement and fortify the symbiosis between man and machine. Enhanced training modules were forged, integrating virtual reality and immersive simulators to equip pilots with the knowledge and instincts to master the skies under any circumstance. Aviation authorities worldwide stood watch, subjecting the 737 MAX to an unprecedented gauntlet of tough investigations. The U.S. Federal Aviation Administration FAA, led this global alliance, dissecting every facet of the MAX's resurrection. The collaborative spirit extended beyond borders, with international experts pooling their wisdom to ensure the aircraft's safety system set a new global standard. And then, the moment of truth arrived. Like a phoenix rising from the ashes, the 737 MAX took to the skies once more, a testament to Boeing's resilience and the collective resolve of the aviation community. Each takeoff and landing etched a new chapter of confidence and redemption. New Horizons, the 737 MAX in today's skies. As the sun rises on a new chapter in aviation, the Boeing 737 MAX once again graces the skies marking a significant milestone in its storied journey. The aircraft's re-entry into service is not merely a return, but a rebirth, embodying the lessons of resilience, safety, and innovation learned through its trials. Today, the 737 MAX soars anew, welcomed by airlines and greeted with cautious optimism by the flying public. The path to this resurgence was not tread lightly. The rigorous testing, enhancements and collaborative scrutiny it underwent laid the groundwork for a stronger, safer 737 MAX. Airlines, once wary, now steadily reincorporate the MAX into their fleets, drawn by its improved safety measures and unmatched efficiency. Pilots, equipped with deeper knowledge and training, command the skies with renewed confidence in their craft. Yet, the shadow of the past looms large, influencing the public's reception. Travelers, though initially hesitant, are gradually reassured by the extensive measures taken to ensure their safety. Transparency, once a point of contention, has become Boeing's beacon, guiding its efforts to rebuild trust. Each successful flight serves as a testament, slowly turning skepticism into belief in the 737 MAX's reliability. Now, we turn to you. What impact do you think the Boeing 737 MAX will have on our travels? How do you see flight travel technology evolving Share your thoughts, join the conversation, and let's envision the future together. Remember, while today we celebrated the strides toward a safer future, the business world also holds cautionary tales. Curious about the flip side? Last week, we explored the bright side of business, highlighting Apple's journey of innovation, from its humble beginnings in a garage to becoming a technological powerhouse. Check it out to see the challenges and missteps on the path to progress. Your insights matter to us. Share your thoughts in the comments and see you next week. Make sure to hit like and subscribe to Company Compass.